Good morning, everyone. I am here with a new segment, and it is called Monday Musings. Now, when I record this, it's not a Monday in full disclosure, but um, I'm trying to build some new habits and taking the time where I can. By the way, this is your weather uh, for the day. Tropical Storm Debbie is on her way, and it is windy, and I feel like I'm in a zest commercial. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. You know how the wind, it's water. Anyway, it's a little windy, but I decided to sit outside, change the scenery a little bit. Um, it was the first day of school for my kiddos, and I feel like in many ways, it's a first day for me. I've decided I'm going to do things a little bit different. Um, it's a very different school year for my kids just because new schools, new school for one, new classrooms for the other two. Um, we're just in a big season of change for them and that's what happens. You live, you grow, you change, you adjust. And I have decided that I need to get out of my own head a little bit. And YouTube is one of those things for me. There are so many motivational videos <laughs> that I've watched, um, even like videos on simple living that say to just, you know, just do those things that you keep saying you're going to do. And there's two big ones for me. And so my Monday musings uh, videos are really going to be about that. Sorry, I'm a hand talker. <laughs> um, and I blocked myself from d like making videos for years because I've never been a beauty driven person. And I don't say that as a compliment to myself. I say that more negatively just because I, I've neglected myself. And it really hit me hard as I was like looking for pictures. I put a post sharing about um, missing my pollen seam. Um, and I was looking through family pictures. We had family visiting and I did not like what I saw. So one of them is YouTube. One of them is YouTube. And here I am, bare face and all, adult. I don't even know if this is acne. I probably need to go to a dermatologist, but do you see this? Why? I never had acne when I was a teenager. I had the occasional pimple, but what? It, it's hormonal, it's internal. I gotta get my gut biome in check, but number one is YouTube. I'm going to stop talking myself out of it, and if you don't like these rambling videos, then by all means, you do not have to watch these. Um, I will continue on with my reviews and sharing the things that Leslie loves. But here is yours truly, um, bare <laughs> in every way possible. I feel very raw. But um, just to share with you guys that I'm going to share more on YouTube. I am currently not super active on social media just because I feel like social media has gotten ridiculous and I'm, I'm going to stay off from my own mind space. However, um, I do want to partake of this community in a different way, not in a, in a consumer way, but in a creative way. And I've never considered myself creative. So those were my two big mental blocks for YouTube was that I didn't feel pretty enough um, or at least put together enough. I'm, I don't do my hair ever if I'm honest. Like it's usually in a ponytail or hair clip and um, it's neither wavy nor straight. I don't feel like doing my hair. I don't have time to do it. I have four young children. I can't, I need to stop saying five because she's a full grown adult. But, um, there's no time for that for me in all honesty. And I know you can make time. If any of you listen to Elizabeth Elliot, you make time for what you want to make time for. And I guess that's where I am. I need to, I'm in a season of recalibration and I feel like that's been the case for the past several years just because I became a surprise old mama and it has taken 
a lot for me to feel like I'm back to normal. Um, but when you have a pregnancy in your 40s, it's completely different. And I'm happy to share more about that in another video, but it was very different. And my recovery was very different in many ways. I've had natural births with all five children, but this one has been very different. And so back to that photo that I was looking at this morning, I became super discouraged at what I saw. I was not happy. Um, goodness, my it was my arms. You know how, like right now I'm sitting this way and I'm not turning because I am not putting myself out there. In that video. I'm sure you've seen my arms, but it was the side view, like full side view of my arms. And that's when it hit me. I've got to lose some weight. I have had a lot of difficulty. I've never really had difficulty with my weight, but as I've had more and more children, I would say really it was with my fourth kiddo that I had trouble losing weight and then life became really crazy. I had, we had a big move. We were remodeling a house and that came with its own challenges. If you've ever been through a remodel, you know what I'm talking about. And shortly thereafter, like during the remodel, they found my found out my husband had a brain tumor and so he had brain surgery and all that to say that my son was diagnosed with autism at the time my daughter was diagnosed with hype was it hyper hyper thyroidism it was crazy it was a crazy season and i think that so much cortisol was running through my body that my body went into a state of shock if any of you watch dr berg i'm being very raw here you're getting to see all the people listen to all the people that i listen to dr berg made such an insightful video probably a few years ago now sharing how when people deal with difficulty with weight loss that oftentimes you can kind of co go back and pinpoint to a certain season of trauma or difficulty or high stress and that year had a lot of it <laughs> and then plus I was like my career was really taking off in real estate so I was busy I was grateful for that busyness though because it kind of allowed me to take my mind off things and survive through a difficult season but I digress I feel like that's when my weight kind of started to creep up and and then I you know when I got pregnant with baby number five I I was overweight already so I didn't gain a lot of weight through the pregnancy but I man did I get swollen you guys I was totally that woman that would go around everywhere and say I love being pregnant and I did I always did this last one <laughs> I was in the south by the way so she's my I call her my South Carolina surprise and everybody warned me that I was gonna get swollen and I'm like I never got swollen before never I really didn't like you know the last little bit sure but I didn't swell like I swelled with this little one I was rolling around everywhere I think I'm still swollen <laughs> Because it takes your body a long time to heal, particularly when you're older. So she'll be two years old in a couple weeks, and I still say I feel like I, I still feel like I'm pregnant. I feel like I'm three months. I'm rubbing my three month belly. Anyway, so weight loss is another thing, and I'm hoping that this avenue will hold me accountable. Nothing else really has, and. I'm kind of tired of it. I'm tired of feeling tired all the time. I have all these thoughts and all these, for someone who's not creative, all these things that I want to do, I just don't have the energy, which is partially why I very intentionally am sitting here because I'm going to make this for me more than anybody else, but I'm also making this for you. So if any of you are feeling any of these things, um, I want to be better for me. I want to lose weight so I can have more energy to be with my kids. If you have, I think any kids, but particularly with my son on the spectrum, I do worry about who's going to take care of him when he's older. I mean, he has three wonderful sisters that will do so, but I want to be around as long as 
possible to help him and advocate for him. So for him, for the fact that I lost my mom pretty early to heart disease, she passed away at 59 unexpectedly and I have a lot of similarities to her and I stress out similarly to her and I'm starting to gain weight similarly to her. Uh, I was very pear-shaped before and now I, and I still very much am, but I feel like I'm getting a little more apple-shaped. So that said, can you guys hold me accountable for any of you watching this video? Um, I want to be better, a better mom, a better wife, a better friend, a better realtor, but more than anything I just I think I want to do it because I want to have more energy that's where I'm really at because I feel I should have at least put on some of the, my little Korean eye patches before I got on anyway this is me in all my glory <laughs> um, so YouTube and weight loss it's the first day of school for the kids but it's a new first day for me to begin to instill some new habits. I didn't sleep as early as I should have last night, so I'm super sleepy and tired. I think I'm running on probably about five and a half, six hours of sleep, not great. I'm a get eight to nine hours sleep kind of gal. So um, yeah, if you want to follow me on this journey and hold me accountable, uh, I'd love that because something needs to work at some point. I have a friend who's a total fitness like guru and is in such incredible shape. And I know that her butt would put me whip me into shape right away. But she lives she lives in Idaho. So that's not possible. But I can somehow hear her voice saying, Leslie, get off your ass and just do it. Like what are you doing? <laughs> you can walk. I'm you know what? sorry I think I might take a walk after this just very quickly go take a stroll and yeah start some new habits so if you all have kiddos going back to school or the fall season although it's still very much summer but the fall season always gives this sense of newness and new beginnings as does like the new year it doesn't matter what one of the videos that I watched said, forget day zero, no more day zeros, just do it. Isn't Shia LaBeouf also says just do it? So many people say just do it. So I'm not going to have, this is not day zero. This is not day one. This is just, Leslie, get to it. Accomplish those things that you keep putting on the back burner for whatever reason and as the wise Elizabeth Elliot said, you'll prioritize what is a priority to you. So anyhow, here's your first segment of Monday Musings. If you like these videos and you have anything else you want to hear me ramble on about or are curious about anything, I won't answer everything. I do want to keep my life somewhat private. That's very ironic, I know, when you're in the space of YouTube, but um, I do feel like I can share on so many different topics like hospital birth versus home birth versus birthing center birth, cleanliness, how do I get everything done, how to not sleep, because <laughs> I'm great at that these days. Anyway, let me not ramble any further. If you stuck around this long, thank you, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.